back. My name is Rachel, if you're new. Today is a very exciting day. It's a Tuesday, so I have to go to work. After work, a very special friend and fellow YouTuber, you guys know her, Michelle Reed. She is in town and we are gonna meet up. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna do a podcast. Make sure you stick around for that. But I just got ready. I curled my hair so that it's ready for later. Um, I made reservations at this really cool beachfront restaurant. And yeah, I'm just wearing this long sleeve from Everlane, my latest obsession, my Abercrombie jeans. And then I'm gonna wear my sneakers, of course. Literally, what is new? I wear the same thing at least like three times a week, so. I'm going to make my toast, get my water, and cheers to a super exciting and fun day. Oh no. You guys. Gas is 4.60 a gallon for the regular. Not cool. I always forget to get gas. Well, I always intentionally don't get gas until the last possible second and then I regret it because now I'm late and I've been late like twice this week. So that's not good. What am I doing? I have to wait for the gas to finish. Everybody be cool. Try not to embarrass me, everybody. So, what? <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna wear this white bodysuit with these Levi's jeans. You just can't go wrong with the basic white outfit and I'm also gonna bring this jacket to wear over it and then my white shoes from Princess Polly. Vinny is on her best behavior. The candle is lit and we are ready. Florida girls. It's a fun time though. Yes. You might catch me here in the next vlog. For real. No, she said she's gonna move here, so. Maybe one day. Fish tacos. Got some fish tacos. Chicken tacos. And a burger. Are you cold or something? Yeah. It's like 50, it's like 75 degrees. <laughs> Look at this view, guys. Are you not cold right now? No, I'm like cold warm. It's the humidity. Yeah. I'm used to the dry heat. That's yeah. crazy. Oh my gosh. We were shivering up there. <laughs> this is actually so pretty. The water is so good. Yeah. Show us your battle wounds. My battle wounds. Uh, I treated her like a dog. It was my fault. I was trying to get her to play. She didn't let me pet her before. Okay. I got a couple of pets in. Oh, Anna's locked out. Thanks, I cleaned it before you came. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I didn't say that. I threw it out there. I was like, I can't do our I must wear a dress. I know. I like, what if I buy a change of clothes and be comfortable? And this is supposed to be. I'll be one, I guess. I don't want to say you can speak. Well, that's why I thought you were saying that. I just want to make sure. Like, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the podcast. I have two very special guests here, Rachel and Anna. I remember because she was like, hey, Michelle Reed just requested to follow me. I do remember And that. I was like, you have to accept her. <laughs> if you don't accept her, we cannot be friends. You now change your Listen to our podcast that we yes. just recorded. It'll be it's, up on when is this going up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when it's up, it's up. I'll link it down below. But this okay. was such a fun night. Thank you for it coming was so out. So much fun. Really fun meeting you. So fun to meet y'all. Anna. Internet friends yes. become real friends. I know. It's so surreal. Have a safe drive. Thanks. Bye. Bye.
Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Last night was so much fun. Michelle is like the most genuine, down to earth, and just like amazing person. We connected on so many levels, and I'm just so grateful that I had the opportunity to meet her and hang out with her and do the podcast with her. It was so fun. I'll leave her channel and the podcast linked down below. We recorded on her podcast first, so look out for that. If it's already up, I will have it linked down below, and then we will record on ours virtually in the near future, because um, we only had time to do one, and it was a really good recording session. So yeah, back to reality today. It's Wednesday. Yesterday felt like a weekend, but it's not. Today's Wednesday. I went to work this morning. I just picked up my food from Offer Dolls. And I also got my period today. My first period since getting off the birth control pill, which I wanna talk more in detail about later on in this video. This is gonna be a week in my life, so I'll update you towards the end of the week once I've like experienced the full period <laughs> for anyone who cares. So I'm gonna go back to work. Uh, we have major tax deadlines as I'm sure you guys are aware um, April 15th is the first deadline unless you have an extension so I'm trying to get everything done before then so yeah that's what's going on get down get down off the counter thank you you know better Okay guys, I was gonna tell you, I was planning on telling you, yeah, I got my period for the first time and it was fine, like I had no cramps, it was great because that's exactly how I was feeling this morning. But then, boom, two o'clock hit and I was dead. Like the cramps, the back ache, I couldn't walk, so I left work and I just laid down for like an hour. It's 3.53, so. I'm feeling a little bit better. I took three ibuprofens. Excuse my mess of a look today, but I wanted to show you guys. I got another set of these garden lights because the ones that I had previously were white, bright white, and these ones are yellow light. And the bright white looked like, like a teenager's room, high school room, if that makes sense. Like the white light just wasn't looking good outside. So I'm gonna replace these. And I also got two medications from my mom um, that she prescribed me for my face. So this is tretinoin 0.1%. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of this, but basically this helps to shed the first layer of your skin and promote skin generation. It's really good for acne, any like red spots or scarring that you have. And then this one is clindamycin. It's also really good for acne. So gonna get on my skincare game. My eczema has been so bad, you guys. I get like spots popping up randomly. It's really annoying and it's really itchy. But AJ's at the gym. I did not go with him today because I was unable to exist for a little bit. Um, but other than that, like my first period has been so far to be expected. I'm really happy that I got my period to begin with because as you guys know, coming off the birth control pill, it can take up to like six months for some people. So I'm really thankful that I got my period. And yeah, I guess I'll just keep you guys updated on how it goes. Also, when I was laying in bed, I just spent like the whole time scrolling through Instagram and like looking at people's pages and my mental health has taken a 50% decrease since the last time I picked up the camera. No, oh, that's AJ. Yeah. I'm feeling a little bit better. Yeah, but you're not 100% and I get fitting responsibility. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Priority is Emily. What are you doing over here anyway? These are the ones Chelsea and Johnny have and uh, they look good because I saw them. That's her flinging her poop. Because this is clumping. She flings it. I bought the wrong litter. You know and where? now AJ blames me for her throwing her poop around. Her litter is literally 10 feet away from her food bowl <laughs> and I found a piece of poop next to her food bowl. Oh my gosh. That's how far she's flinging her poop around. Uh, yo, oh my gosh, remember that guy that was giving us the creeps? Yeah. I talked to him today. You filming this whole time? Mm-hmm. All right, well that segment should not go in there because that's a little We weird. were live. It was live, live stream. What I was saying before AJ came home is that I spent a long time scrolling through Instagram and that's never a good idea. 
because every time I see someone's page and it looks good and it has like a certain aesthetic, maybe it's like dark and moody or like light and airy or like super organic i'm like i need to switch to that aesthetic immediately like i am so easily influenced by other people's instagrams for whatever reason and i always like check back and look at mine and i'm like mine's not good enough mine has no scheme mine is like stupid but uh, it just gets me into this cycle where i don't even know i'm not confident in my own style and in my own aesthetic that i feel like i need to copy others and it's just really bad <laughs> I think it's also because oh, there's my heating pad right there. Love that thing. It's just from Amazon. I can link it. I just feel like pressured to provide like high quality content and like cool pictures for you guys. And sometimes I question like maybe my style and my unique taste isn't like cool enough. It's not trendy enough. I don't know. I know it's all not true and that I need to just like stick to my roots and just be myself, but it can be really hard, especially when you like have a YouTube channel and like try to provide valuable content to other people. It can be hard to like stick to your ground and just like be authentically yourself. I'm looking at these clothes and I'm like, I wish I had all these clothes, but then at the same time, <laughs> that goes against like some of the values that I have. So I don't know, it's just hard. I'm just like telling you guys because I don't know, I have to tell somebody and Vinny's not listening. What should we eat for dinner? What? You said, are we gonna defrost something? I said, yeah, you should take out the shrimp and then you didn't. Well, I was on pre-workout and I forgot. <laughs> you were on pre-workout, yes. like a drug. Ooh, these ones look much more legitimate. Okay, yeah, so this one, this is a solar panel and you can loosen this thing and it can tilt so that if you get certain amounts of sunlight on whatever side, you can uh, utilize that. How cool. <laughs> I've heard JC Marie Smith talking about it, so I decided to try it. It's their multi stick. And then I got this Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. I got into the Amazon Beauty program, which is so cool. So basically, they give me a hundred dollars uh, allowance every month to try new beauty products and show them to you. But I'm just like, so like what this is so cool so this is what it looks like and you guys you know me i'm not very into makeup so i will be testing these and learning as i go i've never done blush before i don't know if i'm supposed to use a brush or something it's kind of hard to tell but as far as like the texture i really like it i don't know if you guys can see it's very like subtle which i like because i freak out when anything's like too bold and you can also use this on your lips I don't know if it's like the right color for my lips per se, but the texture is really nice. I like the texture. I think I would just stick to using it on my cheeks because I think it's a little too like orangey for me. I don't know how to do eyebrows. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Look at that. <laughs> I look like Miranda Sings. I don't know how to do them, that's the problem. I just made them too big. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to do. I look so crazy. I'm just gonna keep practicing. <laughs> I look like a crazy person. But you know what? No judgment. This is the year that I learned how to do makeup. Watch me. By the end of this year, you're gonna be like, dang, Rachel, your makeup is on point. And that is my goal. Okay, so I'm gonna go take a shower and wash all this off. I thought we were going on tea. We are, but I can't go like this. Hello, this is me in my slicked back clean girl hairstyle. <laughs> I have so much to tell you. So I didn't go to work today because this morning I woke up in excruciating back pain and it would not go away. I took ibuprofen, I did the heating pad, like I was immobilized for several hours. So I decided to just stay home today and I started feeling better around noon. 
so I started experimenting with my makeup again. I did my eyebrows a little bit better than yesterday. I actually think they look really good right now. And I did, I, tr I practiced my slick bun. I think it came out really good. <laughs> I made a TikTok about it because I realized how big my forehead is and that this hairstyle may not be like for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're about to go to the gym. This is actually AJ's shirt that I got him for his birthday, but he doesn't love it, so I stole it. He says it's too small. He says he's an extra large now. He's honestly been bulking up like crazy. He's been working out like a maniac. Ooh, guys, look, I put, look at that. I did a little bronzer, a little blush, and then a little highlight. Who am I? Hi guys, it's actually the next day. It's Friday. I went to work and came home. I put some salt tanner on last night and I'm looking nice and tan, ready for summer. But I think we're gonna go to the beach and walk around and have dinner. We live in Florida and it's just so crazy that we don't go to the beach. We were talking to Michelle about this when she was here. She asked us if it feels like we're always on vacation since we live here. And I was like, honestly, no. Like I just take it so much for granted and I don't want to be like that i want to enjoy the beach and like enjoy the scenery that i'm so blessed to be around so that's what we're doing today um i had a very productive work day like one of the most productive work days i've had in so long it's crazy <laughs> i think it's the self tanner i also did my eyebrows again today I think I'm getting better. I need to perfect the interior part. I went a little too heavy, but practice makes perfect. I'm just wearing this swimsuit from Airy, my favorite. This little thing is from H&M. And then these black comfy shorts are from Princess Polly. I need more of these. Let me know if you guys have a good shorts brand, especially with summer coming up. I need to get a few because the only ones I have are these. And then these ones that you guys see me wear in literally every single video. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Is your hand stuck? Do you want my help? Or you're good? Let me help you. Vinny, just cooperate and I'll help you. But if you don't cooperate, I can't help you. If you're going to bite me, I'm not going to help you. Oh my gosh. Hey, leave me alone. Let me show you my tanning drops. I've shown this many times before, but in case you want to know, I use Tan Lux, the face drops. I use the medium shade because I'm really pale, so I can link that in case anyone. I like it because it you just mix it in with your lotion and you just put it on as if it's lotion like every few days, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I do mine like maybe once a month, <laughs> but it's a really good product. I just put my hair up, but also you guys, the craziest thing happened. So I made a TikTok yesterday about like my slick bun situation and I also posted the TikTok on Instagram Reels. I didn't even know this, but you can get paid to make Instagram Reels now if you have a creator or professional account. And I just wanted to share because I know a lot of small creators follow me and I know how tough it can be to get started and to make a little bit of money. So I want to tell you guys, go into your Instagram account and look for the section that says bonus now they did say that it's not available to everyone so don't freak out if you don't have the capability yet so i just think it's so cool so i got like 9,000 views on the tiktok i mean on the reel and i'm getting like 90 dollars. so it's like a 10 dollar uh, cpm and i'm like what like i'm gonna be making reels all the time now so i made a day in the life reel today i'm not done with it yet because we're gonna go to the beach but i'm just like guys Get on the real game, especially if you're like a content creator trying to make a little bit of money or just getting started out. This is a great way to earn just a bit more. Saturday morning and I'm editing this video and I wanted to just 
<clears throat> excuse me, recap on the whole period situation. So if you're not into that, make sure you just don't listen to this part. So I'm gonna look at my chart and just let you guys know that I did get my period after one month of being off of the pill, which is so good and I'm so happy. I had a 28 day cycle, which is like literally the textbook cycle. And I just could not be more grateful and more happy because a lot of people take a few more months to get onto a cycle. Now, I don't know if my cycles will continue to be regular. I'm not making that prediction and I don't wanna jinx anything, but I'm really happy um, with how it's looking so far. And if you're new here, we are trying to have a baby sometime this year. We're not trying right now, but I am like tracking my cycle and making sure that I know how everything is working and if everything's going okay. That way, when we do start trying, I will like know what to do, if that makes sense. I think that I ovulated on day 17 for anyone who's curious uh, they say that people ovulate between day 14 and day 20 something like that so I was pretty much in the middle and as far as my period um, it was really rough for the first two days as you guys saw I had to miss work which I forgot how bad periods can be because I was on the pill for almost 10 years I was on the one that you get your period every three months and even so that period was like a mini period I had bad back pain and cramps, but it would only last like a few hours at the very beginning and then it would go away. It was very light bleeding like, but then this one came around and guys, I was not prepared. I was like, what the heck? I forgot how much flow you could have and like how much pain, it, how much, like just the whole thing and it lasts longer. I think I'm at the tail end of it now, thank God, but I am not looking forward to getting that every single month. Just gonna be honest. Like I said, I'm gonna be very open and honest with how this whole process has been going. I know some people don't care and some people care a lot. So I'm trying to like balance that. Overall off the pill, I'm still feeling great. I didn't have any PMS before my period. So I didn't have any mood Mood swings or like acne thank god like honestly again that could still happen in future cycles but i'm just like so amazed at how amazing this cycle has been but again do not feel discouraged if you had a really bad cycle because it can take up to six months for your cycle to return after the pill so just keep that in mind my voice is like what so that's gonna be pretty much it. Don't forget to check out Michelle's podcast. It should be up by now. I'll have it linked down below and then our podcast will come out shortly after that. My podcast is called A Small Amount of Drama and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll also have Michelle's links down below. So thank you so much and I will see you in my next video.